Girls here. We are in Manhattan Beach, California. Good morning. We're gonna practice a little bit of boxing yoga. Thanks for tuning in. So find yourself on your mat, your knees about the width of the mat, toes can come together. We're gonna to sit it into child's pose. So stretch out those fingertips forward. Relax the third eye to the mat. And if you're feeling a little buzz in your shoulders, you can just drop the elbows and totally melt the shoulders around the back. We'll start to take three or four of the deepest breaths in through the nose, and we'll exhale through the mouth and let it go. A couple more like that. We need any necessary movement with your head, and with your hips, stretching the fingertips, anything you feel necessary. Just link your breath to your movement. Start to fill your body with intention, with purpose. What did you come to do today? You arrived on your mat, and what are you looking to add or subtract? Big, full breath. And then firmly root the fingertips in and drop the shoulders over the wrists. Come up to tabletop. Find the knees right underneath the hips. Any movements necessary, some adjustments. And we'll tuck the tailbone and the chin under around the back. Inhale. Exhale, let the chin go forward, let the tailbone drop. A couple more rounds of this. Inhale, pull it all up into that cat. Exhale, rounding. One more. Push the ground away, we'll take the elbows forward, stretch through those shoulders, and just drop it out. We'll tuck the feet back to a plank. Find a strong core here. Bend the knees and push the hips back to the heels, and then raise up those hips and melt the heels down. Start to pedal it out. You can bend the opposite foot and work the opposite heel to the ground. Deep breaths here, keep lifting up your hips. Inhale and exhale, try to get the head closer to the knees. So for you, you're going to bend your knees. Yeah, and now push your hips back. Yes, and now extend the backs of the legs. Much better. Awesome. Great work. And take the right leg high to the sky and roll up the ankle. Work that left heel down. Switch it out. Go to the left side. We want to wake up every little muscle in the body. Stretch through the backs of the legs with the right heel melting down. Both feet down. And then we'll slowly walk the hands and feet together. We'll hang out here. You can rock side to side. Maybe grab opposite elbows. Shake your head out. Just waking up the body. Take a breath. Scoop your low belly under and push the backs of your thighs back towards the piece of the wall. And then release your hands and switch your grip. Round it out side to side, forwards and back. From your exhale, fully collapse, forehead to knees, and then let the hands go. We'll inhale the hands to the shin, shins, halfway lift. Crown of the head extends forward, and then exhale, hands to the floor. Bend the knees, inhale, arms sweep up. Exhale through your guard. And again, big inhale, fingertips stretch long, creating space in the shoulders. Exhale through your guard. Leave the arms 90 degrees, slight clench in the fist. Inhale, right arm back and around. Hips stay square, facing forwards. We switch it out on our inhale, left arm. Exhale through, step back with your right leg. We come to our orthodox stance. Nice and slow, jab with that front hand, looking through the top two knuckles, slight rotation in the front hip. When we pull the jab back in, the two comes out, starting with the pivot on the back foot, bending the knees, sending that right hand out. Pulling the two in, the hook comes up and over, thumb up, elbow up, sink the weight to the back leg. And we move around, right hand. Yes, both feet back to center. Let's take an inhale. Exhale through your guard and step back with the left leg into a lunge. Take as much time as you like setting it up, getting the ankle and knee in one line. 
big stretch through the left hip, square off the hips to face forward and lift up through the ribs. Inhale, arms to the sides. Exhale through your body. Reach forward, come up on the toe, try to keep the hips square, grab a visible bar, roll the shoulders down and back. Create space between the neck and the ears. Reach forward with the fist, but pull your shoulders back. Inhale, open. Exhale, hands to the ground. Step or float that right leg back. And lower, elbows to ribs. Both feet lay flat as we inhale and counter stretch up. Try to keep the neck relaxed. You can keep your gaze right in front of you. Roll the eyelids and the elbows forward. And then start to just look all the way up. And then maybe drop your right shoulder and look over the left. Using your own breath, keep switching that out. Drop the shoulder, look over the opposite. Feel a little bit of a stretch in the spine. Balance it on each side and then melt to the floor. Tuck the toes, press the ground away. So keeping your hands right underneath your shoulders, maybe even rock the shoulders forwards. Bend the knees, push the hips back, and then extend up. Oh, much better. Pushing the ground away. Reach the forehead towards the knees. Just relax. You should feel more pressure in your legs. If you're feeling the weight in the hands, lift the hips up and melt the heels down. Scoop the belly under. Take a breath. And then you walk the hands to the feet this time. Bend the knees. We'll rock side to side. Take it nice and light this Sunday morning. Just using your breath to move. Inhale, half the lift, hands to shins. Exhale to the floor. Bend the knees, inhale, sweep up. Exhale through your guard. Take another round, inhale. Exhale through your guard. We'll start with the left arm, back and around. Track those hips forward, reach long in the fingertips, switch it out on your inhale. Now we'll step back with the left leg into a southpaw stance. Jab that front hand. We'll develop the breath a little bit. Exhale, or through the teeth on that tomb. And then the hook comes up and over. Slow and controlled, sink the weight to that back leg, and weave back to standing. We'll take a big step back with that right leg into our lunge. Inhale, both arms to the sides. Exhale through your guard. Great work. Reach even further this time. Roll the shoulders down and back. Feel that space being created between the shoulders and the necks. Inhale, open. Exhale to the floor. Step or float. Lower. Slow and control. Work coming from your core. Inhale up. Exhale down. Press the ground away. Strong core, strong leg. Building that upper body strength. Grip the fingertips into the floor, bend the knees, hips back, and up and down and wrong. Take a moment to pedal it out. Maybe shake out your head. Maybe rock the hips side to side. Whatever is necessary to get away from the body. Take a breath. Bend the knees, look forward, and hop and walk up. And then inhale up. We'll take it full speed now. Another inhale. Allowing the breath to lead. On your inhale, right arm back. Exhale, left arm. Step back with your right leg. We're going to go jab, cross, hook, weave. Jab, cross, hook, and weave. Sink the weight to that back leg and roll on it. Roll back to standing. Left leg, inhale. Reach further, further, further. Roll it down. Open up that space. Reach the ground of your head towards the sky. Inhale, lower. Exhale, lower. Step it back, lower. Inhale, up. Exhale, floor. Press it away, strong. Bend the knees, hips up and back. Take a breath on the exhale. Bend the knees, look forward, hop up. Inhale, up. Exhale through your heart. And another one. Left arm. Inhale, right arm. Step it back with that left leg. Competitive advantage. Jab with the front hand. Cross with the back. Hook, 
Sink all that weight to the left leg and roll under. Right leg back, arms back, inhale. Come up even further. Stretch through that hip as you sink the weight down. Inhale, open it. Hit the floor. Strong foundation, shoulders and wrists stack. Lower, inhale up. Exhale down. Press it away, push it back and down. Much better. Maybe you don't walk the feet apart. Take a breath. And then bend the knees, look forward, and hop and walk up. Inhale up. Exhale guard. Two more. Clearing out any stale air. Getting new breath in the body. Hang out in your guard. And then we'll start to bend the knees and drop the hips. Back floats down the visible wall behind you. Stomach tight. As if your pelvis is a bowl of water, keep from spilling, you can tip it forwards. And then rise back up once you've hit the floor. Shift all the way to your right leg, lifting up the left. Maintain that balance by rooting in with the standing leg. Squeeze the thighs together. Send the right leg out, right arm out. Looking through the top two knuckles. Can you reach a little bit further and spiral? Keep that balance facing. And then reach to the further. Beautiful. Keep that knee up. Squeeze. And release. We come back through. Foot to the ground. Arms to sides. And we go down again. Do we just bend the knees? Bend the knees as let's just rock the way down. Oh, stomach tight. There it is. Heels just naturally lift up. We raise up. Nice and controlled. Um, all the weight on that left leg as we raise the right. Left arm floats forward. Right guard tight. Oh. And then can you get your shoulders into alignment and reach for me? Amazing. Yes, you can. Awesome. Bring it all back in. Drop the hand up. Exhale through your guard. And another one. Big inhales. Now let's separate the feet about the width of the mat. A little bit wider than your hips for you back home. Roll the arms forward. Grab that bar. Shoulders down and back. Create that space again. Inhale. Lengthen between the hips and the ribs. And exhale. Push the hips back and just sit. Boxing is a leg sport, although you might think it's all shoulders. The legs are so powerful, you have to move those feet. You gotta be able to stand your ground. So here we're training that. Sit the hips a little bit further, engage the core. Reach in opposition, so fists are coming forward. Stay there, fists are coming forwards, but the chest is going back. Yes, keep the hands strong. Don't let me push you down. Nice resistance. And we bring it all back up. Take a breath. Exhale and fold. Hands can touch the ground. Rock side to side. Shake out that head. No. Shake it out. Yes. Maybe relax the tongue from the roof of the mouth. And on your next exhale, walk the hands forward and the feet back into a strong plank. We're going to change to the knuckles. We want to wrap the thumbs on the outside. So let's get to the knuckles. Wrap, wrap the wrists and shoulders in one line. Stomach tight. Tuck the tailbone under. We're going to slowly lower. Elbows back, raising the ribs. And as we come as close as we can to the ground, exhale, push the ground away. Shh. Boom. There it is. Slowly lower. So if it's difficult, you don't have to go down as far. Shh. And just shoot it right back up. We got two more. Stay strong for it. Lower. Slow. Three, three, two, two. Exhale. Shh. Drive it up. Last one. Stay strong. So use your core. Squeeze. And breathe. Shh. Boom. Nice work, y'all. Let's change to the palms. We're going to rotate onto the blades of the feet. You can either have them side by side or stacked up. And then raise that right arm. Big inhale. As you exhale, let the hips lower towards the ground and scoop them back up using the obliques. Beautiful work. And another one. Drop. Bring it up. We'll come through a plank and shift off to the other side. So you want to keep this arm raised. That's it. Now keep your hands here and drop your hips. Yes, lift it back up. Boom. One more. 
That's it. So we want to be careful not to collapse into the arm. Will you just play that once more with that in mind? Nice work. Back through plank. Excellent job, y'all. We're going to do one more press up. Slowly lower. Exhale, push the ground away. And then drop to the knees. Sit it back and roll out the wrists. Take a couple deep breaths. We're going to demonstrate the second set in round four. So I'm going to move to the side for all y'all. We are going to shift into our side plank. Raise up that fist. Scoop the hips up. And then bend the elbow and the knee to make a physical connection. As we round the back, we scoop the hips up for control and rotate over. The hand then lands right underneath the shoulder. We send the foot back and lower. We'll counter stretch before shifting off to the other side. Any questions? Anyone needs to see it again? You've done this before, let's go for it. So everybody find yourself in a nice strong plank. And then roll all the way to the right side. Boom. So either stack the feet or have them in front of each other. And scoop the hips up, bend the elbow, bend the knee, and start to rotate over. Keep that control, go as slow as you like. Drop that hand, send the foot back. Shoulders over, wrists we lower. Inhale up, both feet on the ground. Exhale down. Press it up. Off to the left side. There we go. Elbow to knee. Scoop the hips up. Yes, round the back. Exactly. That's where the control comes. Beautiful adjustment. Send the foot back and lower. There we go. Try to keep those elbows tight to the ribs. Lift on up. And we go again once more on the other side. So lower down. Press the floor away. And we roll to the right. Inhale up. Exhale, elbow to knee. Scoop those hips up. Keep that connection strong, trust. And roll over. Send the foot back, strong plank. Inhale up. You can lift the whole body off the ground, just the hands and feet supporting. And then exhale down. Press it away. Off to the left. Take your time, stacking it up. And then elbow to knee. Whenever you're ready, hips up. Rotate over. Send it back and lower. Take a big long inhale. Relax the low back. Exhale down. Last plank for this sequence. Press it up. And then knees to the floor. Ankles cross behind us and hips fall back. We bring the feet out front. My favorite round, round five. <laughs> Hands underneath the knees, shoulders down and back. We're gonna lift from the chest up to the ceiling and support the low back. As if there's a block behind you. You're gonna keep this kind of space there. Chest up. So hands underneath the knees, roll the shoulders down and back and extend the chest to the sky. And then we'll lift the feet. That's it. Try to keep the ankles and the knee in one line. Keep that chest pulling forwards towards the knees and then arms out to the sides. Or straight in front of me. Depending on where your shoulders are today. We have all boxed all week, so we're just going to let our shoulders hang out here in the front. Take a breath, scoop the knees in, keep the chest high, arms to the sides, and then let the feet roll down and then we roll back. That's good. Take a deep breath here. And then walk the heels in close to the tush. Peel the shoulders off the mat. Bring your hands into your guard. And then send that left hand through the knees. So we're calling this here the center line. That's where straight punches roll down. As you pull the left hand back, switch it up for the right. So my, sh my head is now off the center line. Just my fist is going through. And I pull it back. I send it out. So if a punch were coming down this line, it would raise my shoulder and raise my face. Keep that going. Cool. Keep that going, Milo. Keep working. That's it. There you go. So we're going slow and controlled, grinding it out, exhaling on our way up, squeezing the core. Trying to let the upper body do all the movement and keep the lower body static. Use your breath as you come up. Tuck the chin down. Roll the shoulders up. Three. Stay tough. Two. Last one. 
Inhale, roll it all down. Take a big breath in through the nose and open the mouth. Bring your nervous system back to calm. Tuck the elbows to the ribs. And on your next exhale, chin to the sky, roll up. Boom. Now we're going to work on slips. So extend back about 50%. And then drive, so same concept with that center line. We drive the left shoulder off towards the right knee, and we roll it back out of range onto the other side. So we're working on our slips here in our core rotation, keeping our upper body separate from our lower. Slow and controlled. Just imagine a punch coming down that center line, and you just let it roll off your shoulder. Like any problems you have in your life, let it roll off. It's nothing. Keep it going. We got about 10 more seconds here, so just fight for it, keep powering through. Move the side to side, keeping the elbows tight to the ribs, leading with the shoulder. Halfway there. Four. Each side, three. Last two, let's go. And one, roll it down. Take a breath, maybe rock the knees side to side. In through your nose, out through your mouth. And then hands on your hips, chin up to the sky, exhale, roll up. Shh. Try to keep those feet planted down. Slow and control, roll it back, strong core, exhale, bring it up. Shh. That's it. And we keep that going. Shh. Exhale up. That's only three. We got seven more to go. There you go. Try to beat us at home. Let's go. Beat us. Go faster. Let's go. Halfway there. Stay strong for it. You got four left. Three, two, strongest ones. Last one, nice work, hug those knees in. Maybe rock back and we can massage it on the spine. Rock the knees side to side. We're gonna take a deep breath here. And on your next exhale, rock and roll all the way back up. Fingertips face in, palms up, side to side. And slowly, using your breath, start to just pull the upper body back. Try to push the wrist forward still, and then roll them out. Take a little breath there, feel the space. Now we're gonna find ourselves a tabletop. Inhale the left arm up. Exhale and thread it through the knee and the arm. Send that right arm forwards and then shift off the fingertips off to the left side of the body. Feel that stretch. Reach in the left fingertips and bring the right hand down through underneath the shoulder and inhale, left arm up. And we switch it out. Right arm raises to the sky on an inhale. Exhale, thread it through. Left fingertips walk forward and off to the right. Reaching with those right fingertips towards the left. Take a breath. Come up on your fingertips, one hand. Yes, and maybe walk a little bit further. Feel that stretch, and then bring that hand back underneath the shoulder. Inhale up. Beautiful work, y'all. Now we're going to step forwards with the left leg into a lunge, leaving the right knee down. Inhale up. Grab a hold of the right elbow and help it down your spine. Inhale here and exhale towards the knee. Inhale center. Exhale, let it go. Let's switch out the legs. Inhale up. Grab that left arm. Help it down the spine. Inhale. Exhale off towards the knee. Exhale work. Inhale center. Hands to the ground. Sit back onto that left heel. Let the feet come together, butterfly. Create long spine, lifting the crown of the head, letting the wings just fly open. Take a breath. And then keep walking the feet forwards. And we'll roll it back into Shavasana. So the most important part of our practice is allowing our bodies to absorb the work that we just did. Take a breath. Palms up to the sky for receiving. Or if you feel like you're abundant and you have enough and you just want to ground into your magic, you can place the palms down to the earth. 
As the legs start to get uncomfortable in this hip release, we always straighten them out a bit more. Now just tune into your breath. Notice your heartbeat. Oh, 
slowly bring the left knee into the chest using the left hand. And then the right, the right hand. Give yourself a squeeze. Thank your body for being strong and capable and healthy. Drop both the knees to the right side. Use your right bicep as a pillow. This is your moment of becoming. You now shed excess energy in the body, the least emotions from the muscular tension. You can now fill yourself with any concept, any, any way of being. So just decide. Maybe one word, or maybe an item. What do you want to be more like? More love, be more lost. Excited to see what comes out of it. Yay. 